in the news, the great Attleboro egg drop. A big hot air balloon, 42 eggs, and contraptions to let them fall 100 feet without breaking. All part of a school assignment. We'll be back with eggs in the news. Sponsored by the many worlds of Kenner. My left plane set. Emergency landing. It's Millennium Falcon. You have to put it together. And Rebel Armored Snow Speeder. Batteries for each not included. Ships and Rebel Commander action figure each sold separately. Enemy approaching. Test fire laser machine guns. Close cockpit. Prepare for takeoff. Resume mission. Yeah. All systems go. Millennium Falcon, a Rebel Armored Snow Speeder sold separately. Action figure also sold separately from Kenner Star Wars, the Empire Strikes Back collection. And now, some egg-citing schoolwork in the news. Here's the assignment. Figure out a way, using only soda straws or paper, so that an egg dropped from 100 feet high will land without breaking. Sound impossible? Well, the first time Frank Scaturo, a high school teacher in Attleboro, Massachusetts, gave the assignment to his engineering students, it was impossible. Every egg broke. But the students are getting better. Some contraptions this year look like they might belong on the space shuttle. But when they took them up with a big hot air balloon, a hundred feet up into the sky, and started dropping the eggs, 37 of the 42 eggs that went up came down unbroken. Think about that. If you drop an egg off your kitchen counter, it's sure to break. But these eggs are falling much, much farther. They're protected, really, by ideas. Ideas from kids who someday want to be engineers. Ideas put into practice in Frank Scuturo's class. And if looking up from the ground, it still seems a long way to drop an egg, here's how it looks from the balloon. Of course, a few eggs did end up scrambled. I guess that's one reason why you shouldn't put all your eggs in one basket, especially if it's the basket of a big balloon. I'm Christopher Glenn with Kids Who Drop Eggs for Homework in the News. From CNN International, this is World News. Good afternoon from the CNN Center in Atlanta. I'm Jonathan Mann. And good evening from London. I'm Hillary Bowker. Coming up on this edition of World News, Making Contact. Just minutes from now, the Mars Pathfinder will attempt to land on the Red Planet. Thanks for joining us. This is one of those moments scientists have been waiting for. Like nervous parents, they've been watching the Mars Pathfinder move through millions of kilometers of space headed to the Red Planet. And right now, the spacecraft should be approaching its final descent. Joining us to explain what to expect is Kurt Grimaud, a professor of aerospace engineering at the University of Oklahoma. Professor, thanks so much for being with us. You and your team have prepared some sophisticated animations. Talk us through these last few minutes as Pathfinder makes its way to Mars. Thank you. It's a pleasure being here. The spacecraft is only seven to eight minutes from landing on the surface. The animations were done in order to help NASA and JPL instruct the people around the world about what is actually happening. It's impossible to put a camera up there in space and be able to show it real time and so the next best thing is to have photorealistic animation done. Okay, so now this package coming from Earth is whizzing towards Mars. Uh, I could think we can see it there. What are we watching? Yes, this is just before the tether gets cut and the rockets on the back shell gets fired to get it out of the way. You'll see those fire there. That's simply to get the parachute out of the way as the airbags have been inflated, moving down to the surface, and it'll begin, it's bouncing along the surface trying to come to a rest. How, how high is it bouncing right now? It can range anywhere from three or four stories high, maybe up to six or seven stories high. The gravity on Mars is only one-third that of Earth. The most important reason why it bounces a lot is that those airbags are like super balls, that they're made out of uh, a very stiff material that is infl highly inflated, and it'll bounce very high. What is going to happen now? The, the thing will come to rest and, and take us through what they're hoping will happen. After five to ten minutes, it'll finally come to a rest. It'll take over an hour to deflate and to retract the airbags. As that has been uh, come to a stop, there it shows the airbags deflated. After they're deflated and pulled back in, then it tries to open itself up. And it doesn't matter what side or what pedal it lands on, it'll always ride itself back up. 
The reason the airbags had to be pulled in is so that when the rover moves off one of the pedals, it will not get tangled up in the, the airbag.